I am a runner because I know what effort feels like, and I embrace it. I am a runner because I value and respect my body. I am a runner because I am willing to lay it all on the line. Every finish line has the potential to lift my spirits to new highs or devastate me. I am a runner because I know that despite my best efforts, I will always want more from myself. Hi, I'm Jay Sandhouse and I'm a runner. I've been pretty athletic most of my life. I played high school basketball and I also played softball. I weightlifted, I played tennis. I tried running when I was younger, didn't really like it very much. And then in the gym that I worked at in the Bally's around 1996, 1997, I met Doug Hinsey. We became good friends and he was a runner. I met Jay at the Bally's Total Fitness Gym in Coral Springs. I asked Jay to run because I noticed that he was into the cardio aspect of the gym. I saw him on the treadmill quite often and I knew that it was something that maybe he might fit in a, a category of running. He persuaded me to enter a race, the Turkey Trot. Turkey Trot is a tradition here in Coral Springs and I knew that Jay would be comfortable there because there were so many people even though it was going to be his first race, if he would finish first or last, he would be comfortable. I did it and I was hooked. From there, I think, you know, a, a, it was like a smoldering little fire and all of a sudden Jay took it to the next level. It's, um, it's about 6.30 now and I have a race in about a half hour. It's the St. Paddy's four miler, so it's a four mile race instead of the typical 5K, which is 3.1 been up since about four o'clock because I'm a little nervous and um, needed to stretch and prepare and everything so I'm kind of um, you know getting myself ready so now I just checked in a little bit you know for the timing of the race they give you something called a chip and this is what it looks like this is actually a disposable chip and the chip is um, what times the race so you can um, you can start wherever you want and finish wherever you want and what you do is you you put this through your laces over here and you run it through your laces, and when you start, you go across the finish line, the starting line, and it kind of gets the time there, and then when you cross the finish line, it clicks it off. So it doesn't really matter when you start and when you end, and I'm, um, I'm a little on the, uh, the slow side, so this is probably going to take me a while to do it. Wow, first shot. So you lace it through your sneakers like that, and it kind of sits like that, very attractive as you can see and you put this in here. So this way, if you stand in the back of the line, it's fine and it'll fire off when you start. Typically when you do a race, you're asked to be in the front of the line if you're fast, but if you're slow like I am, they kind of ask you to stay in the back. I like to go in the front anyway, because it gives me that thrill of thinking that like for maybe for one minute, I'm actually in the lead, which lasts all about 10 seconds. When I run with Jay, for example, in the beginning stages, I would stay with Jay just for a short time, but then I have to realize it defeats the whole purpose of me running because I'm not running for myself. I don't want to run for anybody else. So I go ahead and just do my race and knowing that Jay is going to do his race and eventually Jay is going to accomplish his feelings as much as I do when I run. Running is, is kind of different than a lot of other sports because it's kind of a, um, you're competing against yourself a lot of times. When you enter races, there are people that you're running against, but most of the training and things that you're doing, you're doing by yourself. So it's something where, you know, you're busting out the iPod, you're running for hours by yourself. So it's kind of like, you know, you have to kind of have to like yourself to do that. And it's different, it's not really a team kind of sport, so it's really all on you. As far as training goes, I don't have a particular schedule that I, um, that I'm, that I do on a daily basis, but I, I like to try to squeeze in you know, a three to four mile run maybe twice a week. I've been running competitively now for about uh, 13, 14 years, and um, it's just something where you just have to say, I'm going to do it. 
Usually you get up very early in the morning to run, sometimes four o'clock in the morning, and that's not always the easiest thing to do. It's very, it's very easy for that alarm to ring and say, I want to sleep and forget running today. So you just really have to be focused and make that commitment. Myself, I actually start off doing 10 Ks, which is 6.2 miles. But as your body starts to develop and you get older, um, I enjoy the 5Ks now, which is a 3.1. I like doing a half marathon because it's a good distance for me. It's um, physically, it's very um, taxing on your body, but not to the point where, you know, it just kind of ex is exhausting. I don't think my body's equipped to do a long run like that. A marathon would be extremely difficult, I believe, on my, myself. One word for a marathon, torturous. Other words, brutal, rough. Physically, it just really takes its toll on your body. Not a lot of fun. Um, it just, it's exhausting. I, I can't even begin to tell you the emotions that you go through when you do a marathon. I can't overstate how important it is to have the right gear for races and training. I also have this uh, device here, which looks like the Dick Tracy wristwatch, but it's actually a, um, it's a stopwatch and a running thing, but it runs off of a satellite and it's a GPS. So here you can see, this is gonna be my distance. This is the time of day. This is the time that you're running. It also uh, has a pace on there where you have a virtual partner where you can go ahead and run against somebody by saying, I want this person to run a 10 minute mile. And if you're running slower than 10 minutes, it'll sound let you know it also does lap times and things like that so but since you're running you're reading it off of the satellite it's very accurate next week is the river walk run is that something you think you might want to do it's a five mile run no okay won't be ready for it why is that because i'm not ready to jump into five miles you're still having some physical ailment issues always okay it's called age the highest i've placed in my age group that i've that i've entered is first place and that was Jay's Temple, and it was let the people run. Was I happy at the time? No, I wasn't happy, but the conditions that morning, I believe, were rainy, and uh, it, was, it was a good race, but it wasn't my best time. But I'll take a gold any day. I'm not fast, again, an understatement. But in one race I did, I actually finished second or third in my age group. Of course, there were only two people in my age group. No, I'm only kidding. You can enter a race, there could be a thousand people in there. You can enter a race, there could be a hundred people in there. But winning a medal is winning a medal. And it's something I'm proud of. You know, my time wasn't the greatest, but as Doug said, you know, I'll take it. When exhaustion gets tired, when agony doubles over in pain, I will still be out there, running. I am a runner because I run. Not because I run fast. Not because I run far. When a physical challenge becomes a mental challenge, you keep going until you break through it.